Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I just wanted to touch on some misconceptions that people often have about Kenya or Africa in general. So I know before I moved here I knew very little about what was Kenya like and I had three main ideas. My first is that Kenya was a desert. Uh, second is that it was hot all the time and the third is that Kenyans were very tall and they were all runners. So I don't know where that last one exactly came from but I know, I know that in our education system uh, Africa isn't talked about very much, and if it is, it's always talked about in the idea of slave trade and historical and the colonial times. They don't talk about it in modern times. So a lot of our ideas in the Western world about what Africa is comes from either our education system and history lessons, or it comes from uh, what we see on the media, and that is often about war, um, famine, plagues, things like that. It doesn't really show the true light of what Africa is, but specifically Kenya. Um, so, to touch on the first point is that it's a desert. Uh, Kenya, for the most part, is very fertile because it's on the slopes of a volcanic, uh, okay, a dormant volcano. Mount Kenya used to be a volcano, so a lot of the land, things grow very, very easily, and all year round they harvest. So that is one giant misconception. I thought there'd be sand dunes as far as I could see. That's only up in the north. There's a desert, and even there's only one sand dune that I know of up there. So for the most part, desert, not very true. Uh, the second part is that it's hot. Uh, again, I thought it was tied to, like, we just see in the news that Africa is a hot place. Well, Kenya is not. Because of Mount Kenya, um, the higher elevation, it, most of the country is pretty temperate, and the, the average temperature, I checked this before I came, the average temperature throughout the year is 68 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. So perfect, basically. The weather here is very mild, and the closer you are to Mount Kenya, the colder it will get. And then on the coast and in the desert, yes, it's going to be hotter there. Um, a second, my third idea is that Kenyans were very tall and were runners, and that's because a lot of exposure that I've had to Kenyans in the past have been at races in the U.S., and they come and they win all the races because they're really fast. However, I don't know of anyone personally that runs for exercise, and I've seen only a couple people like around that are running for exercise, because there's only it's like the pe the runners come from a very specific region of Kenya, and I don't go there. I haven't been there really. So that's one misconception. Actually, I'm one of the taller people in Kenya. I feel like usually in a crowd, I'm taller than people. So the tall thing did not work out, or did not pan out the way I thought it did. Um, another idea I had before I came is like I knew there must be cities. Uh, I knew Nairobi was a major city. I just didn't know. I couldn't imagine what a building in Kenya would look like because I just had this idea of like the hut, you know, the mud hut with the straw roof. And yeah, that is not the case. Most of Kenya, the houses are made out of stone or uh, cement. And there are some more traditional homes in the villages and more isolated areas that are more of that hut look, but I would say that is a very small percentage that actually live in those houses that we see in our history textbooks back home. Um, also, I thought, you know, maybe there's going to be animals like lion will just walk across the road. That is not the case. I think the animals I see the most are cows and goats are, are the grazing animals because we live like in a suburban area. so people will graze their animals around the apartment building. So, yeah, I have personally never seen a lion, giraffe, elephant, any of that within Kenya, and I have yet to go on a safari, so that's part of it, but just average, everyday, people do not see these wild animals. Uh, okay, another thing is the idea of poverty is, I think, back in the Western world, we have this one idea of poverty, and that means you don't own lots of things. But in Kenya, they actually see wealth as only land and animals. And so in that context, people back home are rather poor because they don't have these, these things. So I think the idea of seeing people in less developed countries as being poor, that's a misconception for sure. So thank you so much for watching my channel. And we will talk more about what is going on in Kenya and more in the world. But basically, I just wanted to share on some of these things about uh, ideas that people have that might be incorrect about Kenya. So please subscribe, and see you later.